Welcome back to Build a Basement. Today, a super quick video about squaring our gantry on our Voron 2.4 R2. There are other videos out there, but hopefully this is super quick, super easy, and super easy to follow. Let's go. So we got a Voron, we've got a gantry in it. We've done our belting. Um, what was the last thing we've done? what do we do, what do we do? Um, yeah, we attached the gantry pretty much. So at this point, what we really wanna do is we want to ensure that our gantry is properly inside of the printer. Um, our screws should still be loose on both our X and our back here. So if they're not, you're gonna to wanna to loosen those up first. Um, but let's jump into it with the overhead. All right, so gantry on the printer. The first thing you're going to want to do is kind of confirm that your X is moving okay on your Y. If it's not moving, um, check to see why. First reason it might not be moving properly is you may have a lot of uh, difference on your th uh, four steppers here for your Z motion. Uh, and we're doing all this with the Z's unplugged, first of all, okay? Um, turn a motor in reverse or forward when it's not, or when it is plugged in something, it will produce electricity, just the same way as it uses electricity when it gets uh, electricity pushed to it. So you want those unplugged so that you're not pushing electricity back to anything. Um, so that being said, we want to measure off, and let me see if I can get a good camera to do this. Where is the desk camera? This one? Yep. So we pretty much want to take just a rough measurement on the four corners on how far our gantry is from the top of it to the bottom or the top of our top extrusion. Now it doesn't matter exactly, you could use the bottom of your gantry extrusion, just as long as you're measuring from the same point all the way around. You want those numbers to be relatively close within a millimeter or so. It shouldn't be that hard to do at this point. Your gantry should be in there pretty good. Uh, it shouldn't be just falling and flopping around. So you should be good to do that. Uh, this one, if I recall correctly, if I'll double check right here, it's at 245, kind of in the middle-ish. Uh, from the very bottom to the very top. So we're at 245 all the way around right now. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna pull this all the way to the forward position. This is our X rail, it's all the way to the forward. And what we're looking for is that it is hitting the front at the same time on both sides. The best way to do that is pull all the way forward, don't pull it hard, don't move it quick. Give it a little bit of tension on this side and give it a tap. If it's not moving when you tap it, it's pretty square on the front. Push it back again, pull it forward again, push it in here, do the same thing. No movement, no tap sound, anything like that. On the back, kind of the same thing. The only difference is at this point, we have a switch back here for our Y. That's our Y end stop. And so we're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna push all the way back. I'm gonna hold this close. And I'm getting just a little bit over there, a little bit of a tap. Don't know if it comes out on the mic or not, but a little bit of a tap. I'm do the same thing on the outside here. I'm gonna hold that close. Nothing, okay? So what I know at this point is that this back right here is a little bit off from this one. So on the front, everything's good. On the back, Well, actually, it's pretty close. All right, so when I think I'm close, first thing I'm gonna do is come back to the front. I'm gonna use a square. I'm going to put that on there. I'm gonna check for squareness. And if you're in doubt, make adjustments. Like I said, that one's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to this one again. And I'm just going to kind of tweak that a little bit. Now it's the other way. So I'm gonna, seems kind of rude here, but we're just gonna give it a good bump. Like so.
We're just gonna kind of toggle that a little bit till we get just where we want it. So it has equal pressure on both sides. Once we get the way we want it, I'm gonna go ahead and push it all the way back hard, both sides, and I'm going to tighten up these, eventually I'm gonna tighten up these gantry bolts. If I can find the right tools. Oh, there we go. Tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. Tighten this one up. Tighten this one up. Okay, and don't forget on the bottom, you also have one additional. Yeah, that's too long, so I'm gonna grab my Allen. These you want relatively tight. Again, you don't wanna completely mangle your plastic, but you want it tight enough so it holds. There we go. No bump there, no bump there, okay? So good there, are we still good in the front? Yes, we are, okay. So I'm gonna hold this tight. I'm going to actually put a little bit of pressure on both the A and the B while I do this. And I'm going to tighten up these as well. And I'm holding my gantry against it as I do it. Get those where I like them. Back in here, give them a final tweak. Hold in the center now. Again, you can only tighten up plastic or um, screws going through plastic so much. If you want to go all gorilla on them, I'm sure you could um, pull those heads right through that ABS. go. Now if those are tight, they're pretty much going to hold it where we want it. And I'm going to tighten up the bottoms. There we go. Give it a bump. No tap sound. No tap sound. Hold it. No tap sound there. No tap sound there. Now, if your gantry was out of whack, you're basically just going to make little adjustments. You can you can kind of you kind of can make some adjustments like that. Um, on the front and back. Double check these are tight. Yeah, those are still a little loose. So let me go ahead and tighten those up a little bit more. Yep. Just give them a final little tweak. Okay, now I'm doing this before the belts are on there uh, because there's no other things at play or in play. Um, so I do think that doing it before having your belts 
on your gantry, having your AB drive belts on here. Uh, this is the best time to do your, you know, your first 100% square up of everything you have. Your frame should be square, and at this point your gantry should be pretty square. Um, what can happen is, in actuality, if you build your frame really square and you leave your AB drives relatively loose, you leave your X gantry screws relatively loose um, to, your, to your extrusion, and you put it all together, run it back and forth, and do the, the kind of the same show I just did just now where we're pushing stuff backwards and forwards, squaring it up with the front, squaring it up with the back. It should kind of knock everything right into place. This guy's kind of in the way, huh? So, that's about it. That's a quick gantry squaring video. If you have a question about squaring your gantry, if your gantry is completely out of whack and you look for some tips or anything like that, drop me a comment, hit the like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.